Welcome to Post Show Pieces, where we pretty much talk about anything that we couldn't think of during the show or we just thought of. So enjoy. So that episode, I think, was kind of kind of weird because I feel like the nostalgia type of thing, kind of like you, every everything you in your childhood is kind of good back then. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard to be like, oh, that like that doesn't really hold up because then it kind of like ruins everything. Does that does that make sense? Yeah, there's certain things that if you try to bring, if you try to bring, it's almost like time traveling, trying to bring like a compare like a horse and carriage to like a car now certain things were just perfect for the time they were in and if you try to pull them out of that time period it just does not work like per like i mean perfect examples when we we're talking about certain like like kingdom hearts is something that i honestly do i was so disappointed that i didn't enjoy it as much because i had this for literally a decade super fond memory of it like to the point where i have this tattoo in my rib cage it that literally says you know like oh uh, we can't um we can't let fear stop us because i used to love that's the first game i ever played that was very like inspirational all the games i used to always play were like final fantasy of like hardcore dark consequences like every character was somewhat depressed and super edgy and then yeah. you hear a kid running off a giant house key just beating the shit out people you know so i i think it just depends certain things you have to keep back then but certain things you can kind of make kind of cool like fashion is one of those ones that like you can time travel with it pull like 90s fashion incorporate into stuff like now and yeah. things like that yeah i mean I, 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 like a lot of people still do that anyway with like the whole like urban outfitter shit like the shit that they sell at it's literally just like pictures of or old pictures it's kind of like the supreme model where people put sorry that's like levi in the background like walking. Oh, no, um yeah like i feel like they just you know put pictures of old shit on a t-shirt and it's nostalgic i think it might be for like this generation that's like born into, into nostalgia because like we there's certain things to me that like that aren't nostalgic i just remember it like mm-hmm. it's not i don't care like for example um when it comes to fashion like there's certain things i don't get and consider very nostalgic like some people consider like vans still nostalgic like checkered vans like stores like uh, journey will have like still hold up they, they still like they still hold up but you have kids yeah. that are born in like the 2000s they're like oh these are like you know like classics like no they're not dude they're just mm-hmm. they're still kind of old but they're not classic classic to me is like it is no longer being made mm-hmm. and there's a finite supply of it so there's versus like what versus like something like for example that's still going on like for example dragon ball z to me it's still a like a even though it's a tv show it's still it's a classic in the sense of like when it started because it pioneered so dragon ball z is mm-hmm. an exception that pioneered something so yeah. i consider it the archetype for a lot of things that are going on now but in terms of like a classic, I wouldn't consider Dragon Ball Z a classic until it's over, mm-hmm. you know, until yeah. like Dragon Ball Z ended and like it's been like 10 years without Dragon Ball Z or like even when before Dragon Ball Z Kai came out, I think they had been like, I don't know when the original Dragon Ball Z ended like, I don't know, like the 90s or some shit. I don't mm-hmm. know. And then the English dub came out. But oh, I don't fucking know. But there's certain things like, for example, like this is going to be a, on a complete left field that is, is coming back and I can, I can attest to it. Whitey tidies, bro. I'm talking about underwear. Wait, what I'm, about I'm, it? They're making this come. They've made a comeback. Oh, comeback! In terms of like, where, dude? I know now. I honestly see a lot of people now wearing like they're obviously they've been like you know like changed, not like the whitey tidies from back in the day where it's like pure pearl white that if you like even fart you got to stain it looks like you shit yourself. I'm talking <laughs> about the new ones, bro. I'm talking like that Armani Imperial type. I'm oh, talking. About well, okay, wait. So we're not talking about like briefs, like whitey tidies. Is that we're talking? We're not talking about. That? Like, no, we're not so talking, we're talking about, about like we're talking boxers. About, they're not boxers because boxers literally are like the boxers. I think the qualification for boxers would be like they have to at least come down to your thigh, like at least right above your right. thigh, like right above your thigh, like that thigh area. I'm talking about like well, underwear to me is like I'm talking like when it goes straight across that V cut, whatever that area is where you mm-hmm. get that that weird. So like a like, speedo. Yeah, like a speedo, exactly. That those are making comebacks, man. Like I've, it's they're making comebacks. Oh, how I feel about that. It's one the of only reason why the only reason I say that is because while it is practical, well, I think it's isn't it better to have briefs 
than I, boxers. Something I would, like that. As a supporter of this coming back, I would say that I kid you not, I equate it to the same thing when women talk about wearing thongs, where it's like the flexibility you have. So clothing has become more and more fitted, right? Everything, even like like uh, fitted jeans are pretty sca- are pretty tight compared to what we used to wear like 10 years ago. Yeah. When you wear briefs, like man. Yeah, exactly. Like when you wear like fucking boxers, like even if they're like pretty slim fitting, man, you can still, they're, they're still pretty uncomfortable. But I think yeah, you're not. I, I don't know. I think there's like some security knowing that like my balls are secure. Like having it, well, I guess you're, they're more secure. Pop out of your jeans, dude. Even they pop out of your pants, you know, <laughs> to worry about that. You have to, like, if it pop, like, do it's the way they are, they they hold them in there, man. I kid you not, dude. Like, I, I want to, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure, like, you can't. It's, it's better to wear briefs. I don't know. I have to, I have to fucking look it up. I guess now it's going to bother me. I'm pretty sure. No, like, I, wearing, I, yeah, go, go, go on a spiel while, while, while I go look this up real quick. There is something about wearing tight clothing keeps like tight clothing is not like healthy in period. Like I forgot what some of your genitals like it keeps, uh, it keeps like the temperature up or something like that. Uh, yeah, like it's just tight clothing. I don't think it had any difference between like you know briefs and box briefs uh, and underwear. Here it is. Yeah, I think it's about the um, via Business Insider, recent Harvard study found men that who wore boxers were about twenty five percent more sperm than those who wore briefs. So never mind, I take that back. Fuck briefs. Wait, they had, wait, the briefs, wait, briefs had like what they, they, they had, had less, less sperm. sperm. Yeah. I guess that kind of goes with the whole, um, wearing or here it says wearing tight underwear, like briefs creates a temperature increase that prevents sperm from growing and developing properly. There you go, bro. Got to bring those underwears back, bro. On top of that, it looks so, bad. Okay, hold up. You need to send me a picture of this underwear because now I'm thinking underwear Dude, is I briefs. I can literally send you a picture of this underwear now. This might be the weirdest thing I've ever done, but I will send you a picture. I, cause I, I, the reason why I'm arguing this is because hey, wait, I, I before you send it, send it not on. Just so. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you guys. I'm going to send you guys full <laughs> double cheeked up on a Thursday. Um, but, well, okay. So while you're doing that, I'm just going to go um, read off a list of stuff that we didn't get to because I didn't know what the fuck to say. But also, maybe we can talk about it. If, just stop yeah, yeah. whenever you hear something about it. But also, don't don't forget to send that picture because now I'm curious. Curious about like the briefs, not not about you and um, Gogurt, animals, Danimals, SpaghettiOs, Pez. SpaghettiOs. I remember SpaghettiOs tasted like shit. I remember that distinct. Have you had it recently? I guess the question I have to I ask with all these it. things now is, have you had it recently? Dude, not like not recently, but I remember like there is a memory. I don't for whatever reason like my innate instinct was just like garbage. Hmm. I just remember them not tasting good. Like it's one of those like I don't really remember them tasting good deal. either. Yeah, they don't like they they weren't they weren't dope, man. It was a bad one. Um, hamburger helper. I remember that. That shit's still good. I've that shit's still good. Yeah, it's still good. I, I, I When's the last time you had it? I want to say like two years ago. Damn. What what flavor did you get? Because I know they had different flavors. I don't even remember, but I remember I I had hamburger helper recently. Like it was like two years ago. Okay, like, so I remember, okay, like, dead broke, and I was like, you know what? I need to like I need to eat something. And I remember, yeah, because hamburger oh. helper and angel hair pasta are like the same in like the same section. Wait, what is it? Angel hair pasta. It's oh. like the ninety nine cent pasta. Okay, comes so with- I'm gonna. I've never I've never had hamburger helper. So what? Like what is it? Just. Like, like what's the t- what's the package look like? Is it does it it's have like beef, like cooked beef in it already? And yeah, sauce and all like, that shit? it's basically a box of preservatives, dude, my dude. Like it's not anything healthy. I won't lie to you, but it's like if you take the burger meat, flavor it, and then put like some sort of like sauce in it to make it taste edible. Like it's it's really good, man. That's the thing about it. It's actually really good, but it's incredibly unhealthy. Mm. It's one of those meals that like you know there's sort of meals you could can just tell like dude this is good but this is not good for me i can tell i'm probably killing myself spam. Like, yeah like yeah like spam spam is good. Good. i don't know i don't know about that, that dude like spam is like edible no, i'm talking fried about spam. Good. oh no spam fried spam tastes good like if for, for people that are listening and don't like spam fry it on a pan and eat it with rice yo that shit is that shit is good and, and you add some filipino, seaweed with it filipino thing i've ever heard I know, like Filipinos are in love with that combo, dude. Okay, so I actually I was actually talking to to someone about this earlier today. So if you really want to get fancy, get the Tabasco flavor. 
it doesn't taste like Tabasco, but the, just that little kick. Oh, just thinking about it makes me like want to go eat it right now. But okay, here's the thing with spam. I don't know if you, when, when's the last time you ate spam? Because I had it I maybe within the last year, I want to say. And that me, shit me. is gelatinous as fuck. Like, someone told me that you have to um, put it in hot water for like 10 minutes and it takes all the gelatinous shit around it. Like, I felt gross just taking it out, but it's like a guilty pleasure. Like, I'm like, damn, this shit is so bad for you, but I know that when I eat it, I'm gonna. It's like a what's that saying? A minute on the lips, forever, forever on the hips. Yeah, that's that shit right there. Dude, that's a good Fucking one. I never heard that before. You never heard that shit? No, a minute on the lips, forever on the hips. Oh, dude, I don't know where the fuck I heard that, but I always say I I always say that mentally. I'm like, damn, that shit's really good, but damn, I want to pay for that. Like, well, okay, not me, because you know, knock on wood, my metabolism yeah. is fucking off the roof, but. um yeah, no. Hamburger helper I've never really had and I don't think I'm gonna venture out into that. So um Tang? Not tang. Like I don't even know what that is. Yo, you never had Tang? It's like a it's like a powder, I wanna say orange orange powder, and you put it in water, you mix it, and it's like the infamous quote space drink. You uh, never had that, it? No. Oh. I remember it being good. But last time I had it was probably when I was 10, so almost 20 years ago. So I don't know. Um, cigarette gum sticks. Oh, I remember that. You guys a kid, you're so badass. Yeah, yeah. but I, I never had any experience with that. Cigarette gum stick. <laughs> and that day was so hard, bro. I can never believe this math teacher. Big, big league gum. I don't, I don't remember that. Mm, never really had that. So these are two things. Um, I'm not sure. We may or may not get some kickback against this. Uh, Testino Tostinos. I don't know why I said it like that. Testinos pizza and bagel bites. Yeah, those things. So I've actually had. I actually had like bagel bites. I want to say like three days ago. T- t- oh shit! How's recent? I was. Exp- I yeah. I heard three, and I I did, like my mind went three months ago. I was like, okay, but shit. Okay, that works too. That was pretty um, recent, dude. Do you do you put it on that little? I don't know how, if they still do that. That little like tray, like the box yeah. that turns into a tray. Yeah, I had that. Like, yeah, I just melt them all together. Like, I just okay. I. Oh, you melt them all yeah. together. Yeah, because like you're supposed. I mean, pizza. You're supposed to. Like, you're supposed to like put them in like the oven so it cooks like evenly. That's where, how you get some that are like nuclear hot, and then some are like still dead cold. And you put yeah. them in the microwave. So, but I'm just too lazy, so I just throw them in the microwave and just mm. live that way. Tostino's pizza. If if we're talking about the same thing, I still think I think I still think it holds up. It does. I had that maybe a year or two ago. No, but maybe more so, like two or three years ago. And I do remember it being good. You it's still hot sauce, up. and you're good. Yeah, it, it's still a party. Um, Stewart had mentioned colored ketchup. I don't even know if colored ketchup even like is a thing it was or was a fad. It, yeah, it was a fad. It was just cool because to see like green ketchup, like something like that. Yeah. But that shit, um, I never really had it. I was never really a big ketchup person. Yeah, I'm not a condiment person at all. So, not even like uh, mustard or shit like that. Or no, the only thing I like is sour cream. That's literally it. Not hot sauce. Nope, dude. <laughs> nope, not hot sauce. Nothing, dude. Just sour cream. <laughs> mm. But also, I'm an extremely picky eater. Mm. Um, toys. I have Furby sit and spin. I don't know what the hell that is. Pogo Dude, weren't, Furby, weren't Furby supposed to be like the ones that act, no, those beanie babies. I think beanie babies were the ones that were supposed to like appreciate and value. Like they had one, some yeah, of them that were that. Worth, and then something yeah. happened and they came like worth nothing. Was it, was it that just made too much? Is that what it was? I don't know what happened, dude, but I remember there was a point in time where like, yeah, right, there were, look it up. there's something that happened and then all of a sudden they were worth like nothing. Uh, what do I type in? Beanie baby. I guess plummet. Fuck, I don't know. Downfall. I don't even know. Um, how beanie? How beanie baby crash? All right, go on a spill real quick while I read this and give you like a a five minute. Um, so it says today surviving beanie babies are worth fifty cents a piece. Like you literally lost money. 
Because I think yeah. they were, uh, how much, do you know how much they were? Like four ninety nine, maybe? I don't even remember, dude. I just remember that, that at some point in time, Beanie Babies were worth a lot. It says, one West Virginia man murdered a co-worker over Beanie Baby debt. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, your grave, you, like, you, got, you died because of a fucking Beanie Baby? That's um, uh, the natural selection. The universe did not want you around. So it says it happened in 1999. But it um, doesn't really specify. So when, I don't know, but I do remember, yeah, it's like worth nothing now. Um, Furbies, I never really had Furbies, but have you seen pictures of them cutting like a Furby in half? It's fucking weird. Never. It's, I, they definitely got to be like demonic. I know it's it's supposed to look like that because it's like mechanical, but I think because we're so used to the exterior of a of a Furby, mm. that when you see the inside of like a fucking Furby, it's just it's unsightly. If that makes sense, dude, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't. I was never a Furby person, so I don't even remember. Mm. Uh, pogo sticks, slip and yeah. slide, digi pets, water beds. Um, Martin did this one, so shout out Martin. Uh, ant farms. Why the fuck? Dude, I remember that. Farms? Yeah, dude, ant farms. Farm. Yeah, I remember ant farms, dude. I I never had one, but I remember them very vividly. Like they, like I feel like every like third grade classroom had an ant farm. But like, what's the point though? Just to show that like ants work together. It was just to show how intricate like they're like their the colonies. They were yeah, so they were pretty. Ants are pretty intelligent. They have like a structure and organization to them. So I think that was like the whole point of it. Someone told me, or I heard this, and I might be mistaken, that if ants were the size of us, yeah, we'd be fucked. Yeah, we'd be fucked. Like, yeah, they can carry like proportion to their body is insane. Like, yeah, they're, they're you know, strength wise, right? Like nothing, but it's like they're that's like twenty times the size of their body, and they're picking yeah. up them. Um, yeah, maybe we'll have to do that for uh, another episode. And like, would you rather? fight an ant the size of a human or some bullshit like that. I don't know. Think about it later. Um, the last one I have under toys is sit and reach, which I don't know I why mean, that's the fucking toy. You remember in PE class? Remember in PE class where um, they had like a, like, like the physical test you have to do, you would have to do like, like pull-ups, run a mile, and then you would see how far you could stretch, like touch your toes. Yeah, dude, that's not a toy. That's an action. That's an I activity. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. For whatever reason, I had it under toys, but I don't. Yeah, di- disregard that mm-hmm. fucking thing. Um, accessories, I think we kind of went over it. Um, yin and yang necklaces, puka oh, shells. Yeah, that was, I remember that. Yeah, yin and yang necklaces. But see, I never had one. I, I don't even know the kids that wore those. Was, was it like the kids that ended up evolving to woke bros? Those, I think, are the people that ended up getting tribal tattoos. They might, yeah. The same, they're like in the same, they're like cousins to the people that had like the peace sign necklaces. Mm hmm. You think those are the people that end up being like the girls that wore them? You think those are the ones that ended up having the live, laugh, love on their um Yeah, and they're probably probably into that. Mm. Or maybe that was like a, a, a genetic mutation. I don't mm. know. Like, it's like an X Men evolution. They just awoke at certain age. They just mm. woke up at three years old, and then it, they're like, live, laugh, love is the way now. Um, I have pencils, but. This is a weird one. You remember the one with the cartridges? Oh, not cartridges. Like but like it had like 10 of them. So if you lost one of them, you could not fucking yeah. write. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I don't understand what the point of that was, but I guess it's just so you never had to sharpen it. It was the OG mechanical pencil or not mechanical, but I think so. Man. Non-traditional pencil. Yeah, that, that shit would not hold up because people lose chapsticks. They definitely would lose a small ass like uh, pencil cartridge. Oh, for sure. Um, Craig was going to talk about this. Oh, by the way, Craig is not here. He had to do another podcast. Uh, so that's why it's just Tadeo and I talking. Um, movies, he he had mentioned Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. And I've never, I've, it's been a while since I've seen these, so I can't really comment on these. Big Trouble in Little China, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mannequin, and The Last Starfighter. Anything? Uh... I guess maybe Street Fighter might be the only one I kind of remember. You think it holds up? Or it sucks ass now? 
It it doesn't hold up. It, I just remember it. It's, it's like so bad. It's just hilarious. I remember, I remember yeah, Mortal like Kombat. That. Like the only thing I remember from Mortal Kombat is Liu Kang and his like main. That's mm. that's the only thing I can think of. But uh, well, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know if it holds up. Um, TV shows. Um, yeah, these are all Craig stuff. Um, the one thing I had, I didn't really get into, but it, so you know how I always go to like like dark, like in like recently I've been going to like dark. Uh, answers i guess so i was gonna say food pyramid but hear me out on this food so, pyramid. yeah so it was created in 1992 and i guess that was the like a definitive way of how you should how you should eat right oh yeah yeah i remember that yeah that is a classic the but, food pyramid itself yeah but i don't think it holds up today because have you have you looked at it recently like how or do you remember what it was no so it said six to 11 servings of bread, cereal, rice, and pasta, six to 11, then three to four servings of vegetables, two to four servings of fruit and two to three servings of milk, yogurt, cheese, and what the fuck does it say? Meat, poultry, fish, and dry beans, eggs, and nuts. So it, you know, it also says like limit fat oils. So this is me just getting on like a, like a health rant, but it was, it kind of like focused on like a carb heavy diet, you know, and mm-hmm. it didn't really distinguish anything between like healthy fats, like avocados and shit like that and unhealthy fats, stuff like that. And it had mentioned, you know, like eating bread, cereal, pasta, but it didn't really have anything to do with like refined grains, such as like white rice or, you know, whole wheat, unrefined, um, types of like grains and stuff like that. Mm. There's nothing really anything with like the differentiating between healthy, like healthy lean fats or lean, I'm sorry, protein. Well, it, wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be like that in depth. It was just more about like, like what a basic healthy body would have. It's not like, it doesn't have like the bodybuilder's guide to thinking. Yeah, but like six to 11 fat. servings of bread though, that's a lot. You never know, bro, man. If you're like six, four, it may not be. Yeah, but I mean, I guess it feel like, do you think that stuff like that kind of, perpetuated perpetuate i don't know is that the word pro fuck it whatever propelled um like diabetes and shit like that like you never know man that would be ironic of the food pyramid that, but that's the reason shit i hit mute button but like that's the reason why i i brought it up because like i feel like because they had like obviously it, diabetes isn't like a one single thing that that you can contribute to but you know eating for so long if you know, make sure you get all your bread and shit in. I wonder if that has to deal with, I guess, the rates of diabetes. I, don't know, I just thought about it and I was like, oh, damn, that'd be kind of cool. But not, 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 like, now that I say it out loud, I'm like, fuck, I'm glad I didn't say that in the, in the main episode. You never know, man. You never know, dude. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's all that I have left. I don't know. I think uh, we hit all the major ones. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week's episode and i guess you know maybe we can do this in this episode uh next week uh we'll be talking about male vulnerability so for those that are listening you have a preview here um so definitely listen to these if you don't because you'll have a little sneak preview of next week's episode all right well again everyone stay puzzled at the post show pieces peace